Good day, ladies and gentlemen. The date is May 24th, 2024. It's time to start up the Rheem Central Air Conditioners. This year, a couple things. One, here you know, the pool pump is running. Sorry, twerps, not shutting it off. I just vacuumed the pool and now it's back on filtration. That's got to run for about six years to clean up the pool. So that's just going to be there. Ignore it. If you recall, I had a very lengthy series on a cooling failure on this unit last summer. Being that I had people over and this was kind of an emergency, I didn't have time to diagnose and fix it. So I called an AC deck. Well, that was a huge mistake. A millennial came by. He said the contactor was bad. He replaced it. Typical millennial fix. It worked for two days. And then called out, said, sorry, never coming back. So I banged it around a little. It worked again. And I called the company back and I said, uh, guy didn't fix it. So now the owner came out. He's a baby boomer. And he came and I had him replace the contactor. First guy did the capacitor. The owner did the contactor because I insisted. I still have the old one. He did that, reconnected everything, and while it did indeed fix it, it didn't start the same. Turns out he left my kickstart disconnected. I've also had a lot of people say, you installed the kickstart wrong because the relay has writing on it that says this side up or this end up or something like that. It's been eight years. It's fine. It's a relay. It works fine. Okay. So he never hooked the kickstart back up. So it took a Gen Xer. Dynatrack all the way from Texas Way to come and fix this thing properly. There was actually a time when we were getting ready for the slime event that the fan in here cut out and we actually had to stop the camera down. I just cut it out of the video. You never knew. I cut it out of the video and we immediately stopped down, came over here, pulled the disconnect and uh, basically what the, I think the entire problem was is this unit has gotten a lot more hours on it because it's smaller and it's for the upstairs. So it's hotter upstairs and it's smaller, it needs bigger. Okay. It also has a lot of stop-start cycles, not because it's oversized, but just because it's been on much longer. In the old days, I didn't used to run the ACs 24 hours a day, but this stayed running 24-7. So it's had a lot more start-stop cycles than anything else. Um, it, even with the new capacitor, the kickstart makes a world of difference, a complete and total world of difference. It's a must in my opinion. Anyway, um, I think the main reason because of all that runtime and usage, all of the push-on terminal connectors just got hot from the current running through them and kind of opened up. And we found a number of them, Dynatrack and I, we found a number of them were kind of loose fitting and we squeezed them back with pliers and replaced what was necessary in that and it worked great for the rest of the summer here we are may 24th 2024 we're going to go ahead and start it up so with that i'm going to run upstairs and kick it on okay i don't know if you just saw that dim we just had like a momentary brownout right before I was going to turn this on. That's fun. Hopefully everything's okay. Here we go.
Yep, looks good. Oh, she's running. She's running indeed. I don't know how the startup was. I'll find out along with you in the video. Ambient temperature on the fence, 100.9. Back of the unit, 129, 128. Air coming out, 117, 118. Makes sense because baking in the sun, Hot air blowing, air blowing is not as hot as baking. So that's all doing well. Um, not much more else to do except let it chew. I'm gonna go inside. I gotta shut the windows upstairs. And we'll take a preliminary reading of the upstairs vent and see what it's reading. Lyant is aware that it's on. He can hear it and he can tell, but unfortunately he's not going to get to chase the red mouse today because I'm going to test the basement vent when we go down there instead of the bathroom where I usually do, just for a little change of pace. But while we're here, Get it, Lion. Nope, just once pet. Okay, enough of the cat interlude. This is the tail end of the clip. All right, I'm not crawling on top of the bed today to actually get up there to get a good reading because I've done too much. Sorry. It's just. That's how the weather played out. We were getting by without it. I feel some coolness. Sixty-eight is not a good number. That's got to run for a while, though. Well, I checked the rest of the vents, and they're reading about the same, so... It's got that going for it. It otherwise wouldn't be pumping out 70 degree air or 68. But it's got to run for a while. It's very hot. The attic is very hot. And all of the lines feeding these are very hot. Everything's got to cool down. So we're just going to leave it on for a while. And we'll come back sometime later. I got plenty of editing from the pool. In the meantime, let's go start up the downstairs unit. We also must remember that's been baking in the sun. It's got to cook off all that heat for a little bit <laughs> to actually get hotter. You know, it's got a lot to overcome is basically what I'm telling you. Let me get you right in here good, like that. The four ton, never had a problem with. So let's go ahead and start that up. A little more palatable 78 down here. Here we go. That looked pretty good too. Let's go back outside. Oh yeah, the big boy's choochin'. Oh yeah, nice heat coming off of that. The hot part, 112, what we got here? 121, cool part, 99. Big difference. 20 degrees makes a huge difference. Air coming out. 102. 103, 105, 109, 110. That's looking good. While we're here, let's just go back, take a look here. Oh yeah. 
again what no come on get the red mouse come on you old bastard let's go chase it already let's go come on it's on your tail Durr. He screwed up because the AC's on. Even the mollusk is aware. She's on Daddy's computer chair. Daddy needs to sit there. He has editing to do. What? A red mouse? What's that? A red mouse! Holy cat shit! Whoa! What? Oh! Oh! What's going on? Holy cat shit! Oh my goodness! No real light in this area, but I can feel the ice cubes. 57 degrees, 58, 57. Yeah, she's chooching well. I want the upstairs to be putting that out, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, listen, I'm going to leave everything run for a while. I'm going to start editing some other video and I'll come back later we'll test this again we'll test the upstairs again I'll tell you how long it's been and we'll go from there and I got an email great all right it's been about a good hour 54 53 52 that's pretty damn good I can definitely live with that I did shoot the vent in the kitchen before, which is one of the farthest, not the farthest, but one of the farthest runs. And that even has a booster fan on it. And that was reading oh, about 55, and that was an hour ago. So downstairs is working perfectly. Now let's go back upstairs and see. I figure I'll do this vent just for a little change in the same room it should read pretty much exactly the same thermostat before read 83 82 83 something like that it's down to 78 in an hour clearly something's working fifty-six yeah fifty-six fifty-seven that's respectable for upstairs. I'll shoot the other vent while I'm in this room just because. It's the same difference, but... Yep, 57. So that is actually doing just fine now. That is very respectable for upstairs. All of these ducts are in the attic where it's way hot. And let's go see if the unit is still in the sun. Speaking of sun, there's my son. Time for a nap and rub on the light. The sounds of summer, JD's and Lentleman. It's still partially in the sun. I think that definitely has helped its case because again if this is roasting in the sun it's going to have a much harder time. Air out of the four ton. 103. 106. 110. There you go. 113. Yep. 120. So yeah, G is definitely chooching. Both of them. They are both definitely chooching. 
Somebody's going to mention about the plant there and how it's blocking airflow. I'm not taking the plant out. That's a penis plant. It's sacred to the male population. And hopefully it will erupt soon enough. It's only blocking just a little. It's really not going to hurt anything in the realm of it. It's got everything else open. So it looks like we've had a successful startup and everything is working well. They are definitely chooching along. Buzzing away merrily. They got a lot of work to do to cool the house down. Incidentally, downstairs was 78. It's only down to 75. Granted, yes, it's a much larger area, but still, it's got a much larger unit, twice the size. So, you know, kind of interesting in that regard. Remember also that the set point on your thermostat, while your AC is going to run to get down to that particular set point, it'll shut off, but the problem is all of the objects in the house, this includes rugs, floors, walls, ceilings, furniture, your TV, tables, chairs, pretty much anything in the house, knickknacks, whatever it is, we're all at that original temperature and they all need to cool down to that set point on the thermostat. So that's one of the main reasons why the first run, it may shut off and kick back on in a pretty short time span because all of those items are emanating that heat back into the room and they haven't chilled down to that particular set point. That's why they call it a thermostat. Thermo is temperature and stat means stay the same. So it'll keep it the same temperature. Yeah, that's how it works, folks. All right, so everything looks good. The upstairs unit always takes a while to get itself going. But once it does, man, five degrees cooler upstairs already. With a very respectable temperature now for what it is, and it's still partially in the sun. And the four ton is never given a stitch of trouble. So I forget what year this is now. This is they gotta be 21 or 22 years old. I forget when they were installed, it was before I was here. I got here in 05 and they were installed probably in 03. So I think 21 years. And besides pretty much an electrical fault, they've been running beautifully. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And I'm not going to need these for another week because it's cooling off. But at least I know they work. All right. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.